How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another Play Arts Kai review. Today, taking a look at the Marvel variant Magneto figure. Now, this is designed by Hitoshi Kondo, and I will say he did a great job giving us this unique style Magneto. Um, lots of good things, a couple of little nitpicks, but overall really nice. Now, the box here is what we expect with the new release of the Marvel variant line. You get an kind of an action pose of the figure on the front cover. You do have the Square Enix logo at the top. You do have the hologram kind of authenticity sticker here at the bottom. Again, designed by Hitoshi Kondo right there. Open up the flap. You get to see on the one side where the figure is housed with all the accessory pieces. And on the inner flap, you get to see a little write-up of the Marvel Universe line and then a nice bio for Magneto there. On the back, you get a nice little comic book style um, pictures and such. And then on the bottom, don't forget, machine stamp for authenticity's sake also. All right, bringing the figure back in. Again, like I said before, really nice looking figure. I think uh, Square Enix did a great job. He stands roughly at the top of his helmet, about 10 inches tall, which is good. Scales nicely with the rest of the variants, so no problems there. The overall look is great. The paint apps are spot on. I don't see any sloppiness anywhere. I do love the metallic um, red on the armor bits along with the purples and kind of the uh, darker kind of um, reds and all that type of stuff. You get some nice accent piece with the blue um, utilized within the armor bits and a um, little bit of shading with the purple on the armor. Like on the gauntlets here, you do have some scuffs and wear, which is nice. Along with the, even the texturing in the um, within the suit, in that carbon kind of feel. So overall, nice. Uh, the the cape is really unique, also to the fact that it's it gives you this kind of one nice little shine, but it's. It looks like it's comprised of metal shards, which is a nice touch for Magneto. So I do like that. And then a little closer look at the helmet and the face. All right. Now, as far as his accessory pieces, we'll get into that, and then we'll get into articulation here. He does come with this face already attached to him in the packaging. He does come with a secondary face, which is this one. And you do have some shading on here. He has the, the teeth that are well painted, um, some shading on the side and such. You got the nice blue, white, kind of give him a kind of the eyes, a glowing effect. Yeah, not too bad. Now to change out the face real quickly, you just pop off the helmet, which is its own piece. It's a solid piece, which is really nice. I wish that they would have utilized this more since you can just pop off the entire head or the entire helmet and um, given him an unhelmeted look. But unfortunately we don't. You don't get any type of hair. You just have the face and it's kind of weird looking. But to change out the face, you just pop it off, pop the new one back on and put the helmet back on. And there you go much like the variant um, Thor figure that we got a while back. Now I do wish that they would have come, it would have came with like a hair piece or something kind of like the Assassin's Creed Edward or Connor. So you could actually utilize him holding his helmet and he doesn't look all strange and uh, all that. But other than that though, it's still a good design instead of just having a secondary head altogether. But so there you have that. Um, his hands, comes with the two fisted hands in the packaging then he comes with two kind of more stylized relaxed hands or kind of semi gripping whatever you want to got some nice paint detail all that what you expect with a player sky figure and then you got a more kind of relaxed open hand and that is it for hands the last accessory piece he comes with two they're don't think they're the exact same, but um, you get these two kind of energy effect pieces. You kind of have the blues, whites, um, 
translucent bits throughout. So they're nicely done. To utilize these, you have to pop off the hands, which for this gimmick, it's nice that the hands are easy to slip on and off, but they're not so easy to the point that they're gonna fall off. Then you just take the energy piece and then you just place it over the, the peg for the hand and then just reattach the hand, whichever hand you want to use. And then you got the energy effect. Not bad, I do like that. All right. Okay, let's go over articulation really quickly. So his head's on a, or his kind of face, I guess, is on a double ball peg. It kind of sits up high, but you don't see it because of the helmet. There you go. Got a nice range of motion. Can't really go too far back uh, just because the helmet is hindered by the uh, back piece of the cape. But you do you go side to side and you can, you know, get all these kind of really cool poses. Let me zoom out here. There we go. The neck is on a double ball peg that's connected into the torso. So that's nice. Again, so you get a lot more range of motion and such. A little bit on the hollow side. Uh, depending on the angle that you're looking at. So you kind of see like right through there. But it depends on how you're going to have them displayed. It's not that bad. As far as his arms are concerned, they're on a ball peg, which I don't really like. It's kind of going in at an angle so you can get that kind of butterfly or reach around for the front. This is not as soft as it could be, but there is a cut. So you can tuck the arm around it so if you want you can get more of that reach around it is on a hinge so you do have the in and out um, and then you can rotate around but this is a little bit more of a harder plastic so it's going to be kind of a little more of a pain but you do have that articulation in the elbow the wrist and in the ankle are the same it's that ratcheting ball hinge so you can swivel at the top and at the base you get the ratchet a little more than 90 degrees. It's not too bad. I do like the fact that it is colored the same or it's um, as the rest of the costume here instead of just like a black um, ball hinge or something so it sticks out. So that's nice. So it flows better. You do have the uh, bicep cut there and it's not too horrible as far as breaking up the sculpt and such. As far as the torso is concerned, you do have the ball peg, so you have about that far down and that far back. And I like the fact that there's no gap, so that's good. Not a lot of side to side, but you do get that with the ball peg that's connected to the hips, so you have that. Ratcheting hip joints, forward, back. This is a floating crotch piece, so you can manipulate to get it out of the way, get them into some better poses and such. Do you have a thigh cut and you get the double jointed knee and the armor bit with the kneecap so it hides that fairly nicely and then again you have the same uh, ratcheting hinge there for the ankle so you can go that far forward that far back manipulate for the rocker and then you have the toe hinge as far as the cape is concerned it's the same ratcheting ball hinge it's actually connected into the into the back so that's nice, and it's um, vertical, so that's, or not vertical, horizontal. The cape is a little kind of heavy, so it doesn't really, can't really do the windswept kind of droops. Other than that, I'm sure you could tighten that if you wanted to, manipulate it a little bit more, and all that. This is a little bit of a harder plastic, but you can get it up, get them flowing a little more. Doesn't look too bad, I mean, once you kind of take it out a little bit too much then you're kind of breaking up the cape but i don't kind of mind that as much just because he created this whole cape with the whole metal shards and all that type of stuff so he can manipulate however he wants so that's kind of cool i do wish this was on kind of a hinge the um, end pieces here so you can kind of flip them around um, and they are curled up a little bit but you can fix that with some hot air hot water and such but that is it. Um, really quick look at Magneto. It's a um, really nice figure. I do like the fact that we got him. I mean, we got Wolverine and Deadpool already. And with Magneto, and then we're getting Cyclops and X-23. 
it's kind of cool that the Marvel variants are kind of going into that mutant realm. But um, we'll see what else happens um, in the future. But it's not a bad piece. So do uh, recommend them if you are liking the Marvel variant line from Player's Kai. And um, to get another villain is kind of cool also. So not too bad. Um, as far as price is concerned, you can get this guy. I mean, the standard retail is 150 bucks, but I've seen him go a lot cheaper than that. So you just got to look around and you should get him a lot cheaper. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Check out Plastic Fanatics, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on Saturday nights. And until next time, I'll talk to everyone later. Bye.